Before I really went out, I checked to see if there were any polar bears around. But there was no, there was nothing to see, no polar bear. As I was outside, um, I heard the noise kind of the side, the side of me, and I looked, I thought it was my husband making that noise, but when I turned around, it, there was a bear, there was a polar bear. Polar bear came, he only had to walk two steps to reach me. That's how close he was. When the ice are gone too far from the land, they go in inland to the cabins. And my husband look out the window. And so my husband, he got two rifles, so he fired one rifle. Yeah. Well, actually, he could not shoot the bear on the head even if he wanted to because the polar bear's head was always around my head, too. So he shot the polar bear on his hind leg. That's only when the time that bear would let me go. His, his head was still up, like, not very far from my head. Mm -hmm. and that's the only time my husband could shot him on the, on the head and kill him. All this was open like leaflets, basically. So now we see it together. This is not how we receive it. So you can see all this like a railroad track over there as well. And then this was in multiple pieces. And the part that we saved, that we connected, was right here, attached by just a small piece here, just enough to drain, fortunately. So the artery was hooked up around this area with the microscope, as I explained to you. And then all this was shaved off the skull like an open book. So we put everything back together to be able to restore her scalp. And fortunately, she's growing hair uh, everywhere.